And then Al Imam Al Baqir in another hadith states, Wama kanu ya'rafuna illa bittawadu'i wa takhashu'. The Shi'as are known for humbleness. They have a gentle heart, beautiful, gentle heart. One beautiful hadith states that the true Shi'i, you don't hear him raising his voice. He can barely hear his voice. It's symbolic. You know what that means? They're so gentle. They're so soft-hearted. They don't insult anyone. Some of us, look at us, mashallah. Look at some of our cultures. We're experts in yelling and screaming. I don't know why this is part of our culture, honestly. I know sometimes we don't do it to insult anyone, right? When we're on the phone, you're, we're yelling. Especially if the other side is overseas, right? The farther they are, the more you need to yell. Haram, they're far, you know? The phone has trouble sending your voice there when they're overseas. So you have to yell. I don't know why we have this culture of yelling, right? But the true Shi'i does not offend anyone. With their voices, they don't offend anyone. They're so sensitive of people's emotions. The Imam says, these are my true Shia. And then the Imam السلام, in another beautiful hadith. This is now Amir al-Mu'mineen speaking. Shi'ati wallah. Listen to the words of your Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen. Al-hulama. They have patience like a mountain. Nothing can move them. Al-ulama'u billahi wa deenah. They're scholars, not official scholars who wear a turban. No, they're scholars. They know their Lord. They know their society. They know their circumstances. They obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in everything. Allah. The love of Allah guides them. The love of Allah makes them wake up. The love of Allah drives them in everything. Everything. They're in love with God. Today, you know, you see some people who are depressed and they give up on life. They tell you, what do I have to live for? What am I living for? There's nothing to live for. I don't want to live anymore. Have you seen someone who's truly in love? You know, like boys and girls. Have you seen someone who's really in love, like to the point of blindness? When they're in love to that extent and they are with their loved one or they're about to get engaged or get married, have you ever heard them say, what's the point of life? Ya Allah, show me if you've ever seen someone like that. When you're in love like that, life becomes meaningful to you. You don't say, what's the point in life? The Imam says the Shi'i, every single moment in his life, the love of Allah drives him and gives him purpose in this life. There is no one second in his life where he says, why am I here? What's the purpose? Why am I living? The love of Allah guides them. Al-muhtaduna bihubbihi. Anza'u ibada, ahlasu zahada, sufru al-wujuhi min al-tahajjud, umshu al-uyuni min al-buka', dhublu al-shifahi min al-dhikr. The Imam says, you really want to know who my Shia Shia are? I'll tell you who they are. You look at their faces, they're yellow from excessive ibadah. Ibadah is worshipping Allah, like the night prayer, or standing on your feet to read Quran, or helping, volunteering. They barely have time to rest. Because of excessively remembering Allah, their lips have withered, withered. Can you imagine? Where am I? Where are the Shia of Ali ibn Abi Talib? Salawatullah? Look at these descriptions that the Imams alayhim salam have given us, my dear brothers and sisters. They're truly fascinating. This is a moment of reflection for us. Then the Imam states, Khumsul butuni min tawa Their stomachs are not just flat, they're indented inside because of constant hunger. These are symbolic. Don't take these literally. They care about others. They care about humanity and what's happening to other people. Then the Imam السلام, states, تُعْرَفُ الرَّبَّانِيَّةُ فِي وُجُوهِهِمْ You look at the faces, you see Allah. You see God in their faces. They remind you of Allah. Have you seen some, some righteous people? They can be very humble. Maybe they're not even well known in society. When you look at their face, their face is so pure. It reminds you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Imam says, these are my true Shias. In another hadith, 
الإمام أمير المؤمنين عليه السلام states شيعتنا المتباذلون في ولايتنا المتحابون في مودتنا our Shias they collaborate they work together they're united what unites them is wilaya look at our state today look at our state today my dear brothers and sisters look at what the Shia are doing around the world the followers of this group they curse the followers of other groups. The followers of this marja have a problem with the followers of that marja. We come, we've split into all these different factions. Habibi, the wulai of Amir al-Mu'mineen is uniting you. Okay, you may have your political views, fine. Put them to the side. Unite under the wulai of Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam. And subhanAllah, the imams have told us about this era. One hadith, say, one hadith from Imam al Hussein alayhi salam states, لا يكون هذا الأمر, meaning the Mahdi will not appear until what happens? حتى يتبرأ بعضكم من بعض ويبصق بعضكم في وجه بعض. Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. The Mahdi will not reappear until you, who call yourselves Shia, you will condemn one another and you'll spit in each other's faces. These are the words of Imam al Hussein. And this is what we're experiencing today, my dear brothers and sisters. Look at the hate. Sometimes you go online, you see these comments. Look at the amount of hate bef between the followers of Al Muhammad. You think my Imams are proud to see us in this state? And we create an issue out of everything. The Eid comes. Okay, everyone have, follows a marja'ah, they have different fiqh rulings. You see the attack starting from both sides. Your marja'ah did this one day before, one day after. We have two Eids, we create a, a, a crisis out of it. It's a legal ruling. We create an issue out of it. Muharram comes, you see the Shia's fighting. I want to do matam this way, I want to do my aza this way, and then I attack this person, that person attacks me. You're not a follower of Imam Hussein, you're a follower of Yazid. Wallah, I've seen this in Muharram. A Shi'i attacking another Shi'i, telling him, you are following Yazid ibn Muawiyah because you don't do things my way. 